Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have something pretty cool to check out because I actually have some more custom figures in this box too, in fact, that I have acquired from Jurassic Ryan. Now, if you are familiar with Jurassic Ryan, you know he creates some absolutely epic stuff. If you are not familiar with with Jurassic Ryan, I have actually put a video up in the past on this channel of a custom Mattel figure that he had created and sent my way. And again, I actually had made a trade with him back then for some other figures. I now have made another trade here for these figures. But the one that I had shown off previously was a two-headed Mattel Tyrannosaurus Rex. And it was absolutely awesome. Like, it's probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen when it comes to custom Mattel figures. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. I will actually include a link at the end of this video to that video for you to check out. But this time, we've got some more stuff from him. And again, more when it comes to custom figures that he has created. However, they are not actually Mattel figures. They are, though, Jurassic World figures. So I'm going to pull this box out here to the side. I'm going to open it up and then bring them in and show them to you guys. So here is the first of the two, and I think you can kind of see what it is there, at least get somewhat of an idea as far as what we are looking at. But we'll go ahead and pull this tape off and then pop this open right here. Actually, there's more tape. He has packed these very nice and very safely. We'll pull this off, just loosen it up a little bit, and then we should be able to slide this right out. And there you go. You can see what the very first one is. It is the Spider Rex. And uh, I actually had reviewed the Hasbro version of the Spider Rex on the channel a ways back, which I actually had kind of mixed feelings about at the time. But actually, let me go ahead and readjust this because I feel like we're just a little bit too high for this. But uh, again, this is just absolutely awesome looking. He clearly took the uh, bookends, which were released for Jurassic World, and recreated those, basically brought new life to these, and gave them the Spider Rex look, or at least this one, because the other one that we have is this... And I think there's a good chance you can already tell where we are going with this one as well. So let's pop the bubble wrap off of it. And then we'll open it up here. Carefully, very carefully. I actually think maybe I'll pull this one out here because I don't want to damage it while I'm opening it. So let me just pull it out of screen for just a minute so I can get a little bit more attention to the opening of this. Here we go. You can see on top of our Spider Rex, we've also got the Venom version of the Rex. And obviously it's the Indominus and the T-Rex, again from the Jurassic World bookend statues but now painted up and customized to have that Venom Rex and Spider Rex sort of look. On top of that, he's actually also included the card here, of course, Ryan Cretaceous, toy customizer and artist. And he's actually also given me this, which was super cool. I had no idea this was going to be included. So this is a straight up just a gift, a surprise from Ryan. So I have to give him a massive shout out and a thank you. Not only, of course, for the awesome trade, but for including this without me having any knowledge of it. It looks insanely cool. I've never even heard of this before. So I am definitely excited to dive into this and check it out. That looks awesome. So again, a massive, massive thank you to Ryan. That was an incredibly kind gesture. And of course, these look awesome. So let's jump to a quick closer look at both of them right now. So first of all, we'll begin with our Spider Rex. Now you can see that obviously a lot of the original model has kind of been retained here. We do still have the you know, original appearance of the Jurassic, you know, world, I almost said park actually, Jurassic World T-Rex, but on top of giving it quite the spiffy new paint job, he's also customized the head. So we have this very interesting sort of crest that you do see on the Spider-Rex, and uh, you do now have that here on his version that he's 
created here on top of that you can see the paintwork is so nicely done like it is absolutely as precise and perfectly applied as you could ask for as you move through the body with the reddish tones you come up here you've got the uh, kind of visual of the spider up here on the back again something you do see on this particular version of a t-rex we've also got the nails painted which you can see right there they also have a bit of a glossy black so they shine pretty nicely and then an area you may not even notice you actually have the black here kind of running along the underside of the t-rex as well that's actually so hidden down here because the model is on the base you can't really see it too well but we can kind of show it off right there sneak a little peek at it because it is down there but obviously as we lead back here we transition to the bluish tones and on top of applying the paint perfectly he's also chosen the tones perfectly because these are absolutely the tones of color you see associated with the spider rex you can also see the nails are painted again with that nice glossy black and if we turn the tyrannosaur around you can get a look at both sides of it and again i'm not the biggest fan in the world of spider-man i absolutely do like spider-man and i do enjoy watching the films and stuff but i'm not like one of those people that goes crazy over spider-man but if you are going to combine dinosaurs or even more so if you want to get specific jurassic world with spider-man i'm definitely in and these look awesome like that is definitely a really really cool statue and then of course we have the venom rex as well and obviously most of the model as you can see has again retained the original indominus look but he absolutely has customized quite a bit of this one so if you start up here in the face one thing i noticed straight out of the gate that obviously has been customized by ryan is the tongue we have a much longer tongue giving it that venom sort of a look which is really cool again that's definitely one area of the venom rex that you definitely want to capture and he has captured it very nicely here you can see the teeth are all painted out everything has a bit of a satin shine on the figure but you can see the teeth specifically do have a very nice satin shine as well as the inside of the mouth and again we're painted nicely with a very dark tone like a maroonish red sort of a tone in there we have the white there around the eye it's a little hard to get in on that side because the dinosaur is kind of like the entire body's curved in that direction but you can see it better over here again the white around the eye as we move back with that black tone we do still have the quills on the back of the neck of course the indominus quills but as you move back you'll continue to notice very small things that ryan has added to it like as you look here at the side you've got i don't even know what these are actually technically called but they're like almost like little vines that you see on the side of the uh venom rex and you'll see those on the dinosaur and again you see that actually here replicated in his model also as we move back you can clearly see again we've got the you know white up here that white design and it's also again very nicely applied and when it comes to stuff like this like that's so precise you have to be so careful when painting that out to make it look good he absolutely knocked it out of the park we've got the white nails for the dinosaur as well and as you continue to move along you'll start to see more again of the stuff that he's added you can see it right here you can see it especially as you lead back here into the tail again continuing to give it that very very venom sort of a look so when it comes to a venom rex statue that is absolutely awesome and both of these are incredible additions to my collection again i do want to give a huge shout out and a thank you to jurassic ryan for hooking me up with these as we made a trade for these and uh, i'm very much so happy with these additions to my collection so if you like what you see as i said make sure you contact ryan i will include his information as well as his of course social media in the description so you can go head on over there check ryan out maybe buy some of his awesome customs that he makes maybe just follow along with the stuff that he makes whatever the case may be you definitely want to check him out so again thank you so much ryan and also like comment and subscribe of course let me know in the comment section what you guys think of these and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching